Living a healthy, balanced life as a mom can sometimes feel impossible. With tiny mouths to feed, butts to wipe, and so many things vying for our attention, it can be easy to feel like we're in an on-again, off-again relationship with healthy living. But it doesn't have to feel this way. I believe every mom is a super mom, and you deserve to feel like one too, and you don't have to go on another diet to do it. Join me, Kristen Dovniak, holistic nutritionist and certified intuitive eating counselor for conversations on what it means to live a healthy, balanced life. I want to help you uncomplicate eating, improve your relationship with food, and live like the supermama I know you are. Hey friends, welcome back to the Healthy Balanced Mama podcast and welcome to day two of the Healthy Mama Habits Restart. I'm Kristen Dovniak, and for the first 10 days of the year, we are focusing on creating habits around the life we want to live in 2020. Each day, you can find me here on the podcast with a mini episode surrounding today's topic, as well as live at 2 p.m. Eastern in the private Facebook group and on Instagram at Healthy Mama Chris, sharing deeper thoughts about that day's topic. So to join us in the Facebook group and get the worksheets attached to these episodes, head to HealthyMamaChris.com slash habits. That's HealthyMama, M-A-M-A, Chris, K-R-I-S dot com slash habits to sign up for free with your name and email. So let's dig in to today's topic. So yesterday we talked all about intention, connecting to our why and creating a practice out of intention and reflection each and every day so we can show up to create the life we desire to live. Today we're talking about the second part of the mindset piece and that is tuning in. So what does it mean to tune in, to tune into our bodies? We know what it means to tune into like a radio or tune a guitar. It's to pay attention or realign with how it's supposed to be. If the guitar is out of tune, it doesn't sound very good. And so we tune it to align it with the way it's supposed to sound. And tuning in, in its essence, is simply awareness and realignment. So what it means to tune into our bodies is simply the practice of awareness of our body's state, its needs and desires. But this is something that many of us have been taught for a really long time to ignore. But this is the first step towards intuition, which is the mind-body connection that allows us to continually make choices that serve us. Tuning in involves things like tuning into our hunger and our fullness, our satisfaction, and how our body feels. Many of us, for a really long time, have been focusing on things that we were told by outside experts rather than tuning into our own bodies and what actually feels good in them. So some good signals that you're actually tuned out to your body include letting yourself get too hungry and maybe overeating or then eating too fast and getting a stomach ache, avoiding eating all day and then binge eating at night. I know a lot of women I work with who are moms have this just because they're busy, they go through their day and they realize at the end of the day that they haven't eaten anything and they're struggling with not being able to deal with this like ravenous hunger at nighttime. Um, So this is just a signal that you're tuned out to your body. Eating all day long outside of hunger can also be um, something that, you know, indicates that we might not be super tuned in to our bodies because we're not actually recognizing our hunger cues. Um, Emotional eating can also be something, if we are struggling with that, that can be an indication that we're not tuned in either to our bodies or to our emotions um, or to what positive coping mechanisms could be. Um, Having consistent digestive issues or headaches over not eating or not drinking enough water or even things like accidentally drinking too much wine because you're not paying attention. These are all things that can just be signals that you're a little bit tuned out of your body. And on occasion, these things are okay. They happen. I totally understand that. But when it becomes consistent, that's where we can use some help realigning with our bodies. So I recommend starting with the tuned in or out exercise in today's workbook sheets before we go any further. Um, And then you can meet me at 2 p.m. for the live today. And by the way, replays will be available in the Facebook group um, or on Instagram, but it's only for 24 hours on Instagram. So if you're in the private Facebook group, you'll be able to get the lives for good as long as you're part of the group. And this will help you with three ways to begin to better tune in to your body. 
if this is an area that you find yourself struggling with um, as an ongoing struggle, I really recommend that you also join us in the Super Mama Society. Registration is only open for another week and a half. If you don't know what it is, it's my online intuitive eating based group coaching membership, which is designed exactly to help moms tune into their intuition around food and healthy living to simplify nutrition so you don't feel like you need to be on a diet in order to eat healthy and find their beautiful balance. So I hope this gave you guys a really nice quick brief overview of what it means to tune into your body and some examples of what it might mean if you're tuned out to your body, um, tuned out of your body I guess. And I would love to have you join me live 2 p.m. Eastern on Instagram or in the private Facebook group and we can chat further about this and I can um, help you if you have any questions about learning to tune into your body to tune into your hunger and your fullness and satisfaction and get real with how you're feeling now in your body and how you want to feel and the first key to that is really truly learning how to tune in and then respond so this is a really great place to start off the new year I'm really excited to have you guys start in this place where rather than just jumping into something that an expert told you is going to work for you to really tune in to your body and figure out what really truly is going to work for you in the long term. This is going to be our best year yet. So I will see you over on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you friends so much for listening to this episode of the Healthy Balance Mama podcast. I truly hope it encouraged and inspired you today to live a healthier life without restriction. If you enjoyed this podcast, would you do me a huge favor and give it a star rating and review in iTunes? Every rating, review, and subscribe helps this podcast be seen and heard by more women who need to hear it. You can find me, Kristen, on Instagram and Facebook at Healthy Mama Chris or on my website, healthymamachris.com. As a reminder, the information and opinions on this podcast are intended for information and inspiration only and are not a substitute for professional medical advice or treatment. Please consult with your healthcare practitioner before making any changes. See you in the next episode.